Heat number six now. This one features Rick Fraser, Tyler Helmick, Mark Sutherland, and Ted Friesen. Ted will come off the outside four barrel for Impact Oil Field Supply, a three-time champion on the WPCA second circuit. Ted just completed his second year on the Dodge World Pro Tour, where he currently sits in 16th spot on the leaderboard. Grand Prairie Cowboy Mark Sutherland has the Zender Ford rig on three. Another of those father-son duos on the tour this year. Mark currently occupies 13th spot on the leaderboard. And we've got him hooked up with our helmet cam. I asked him earlier how the strategy changes coming off three rather than the one or two barrel. Well, barrel one is the most uh, advantageous barrel. It's the shortest distance around the track and uh, your first, you know, out there. Um, barrel two, if you've got a good starting outfit, you think you can beat the guy off of one, then you can go for the rail as well. But uh, uh, particularly in my heat, I've got barrel three and the guys on one and two are probably going to be fast. And uh, um, I, uh, I think I'm just going to try to go around the top and uh, if I'm anywhere behind them, I'm going to pull and tuck in the rail and hopefully I can uh, catch them on the home stretch. Tyler Helmig will launch the Epcor rig off too. He currently sits in second spot on the world leaderboard, just a half point behind Reg Johnstone. And lining up on the inside one barrel for Kendall Pipeline and Oil Field Services is Rick Fraser. Rick currently sits in fifth spot on the leaderboard and will be looking to qualify for the Pro Tour runoff in Strathmore with a fast, clean heat here. Rick's another one of those great Grand Prairie drivers. With a call of Heat 6, here's Les McIntyre. The horn sounds, the charge is underway. Outriders get their job done. These guys are in a hurry. Ted freezing off that four barrel. Gets out alongside of Zender Ford and Mark Sutherland. Tyler in the net four sandwich in the middle of the rail. Belongs to Kendall Pipeline and Oil Field Services. Rick Fraser, barrels are up, outriders are out, and wagons are all across the track with Kendall Pipeline and Oil Field Services. Grand Prairie champion Rick Fraser tucked in along that rail. Right alongside of him is big Tyler Helmig at Epcor. Essential elements for speeding down the backstretch with his four big thoroughbreds. A length and a quarterback. Zender Ford and Mark Sutherland right alongside of him. Wheel to wheel, banging a little steel down the backstretch is Ted Friesen. Impact Oil Field Supply. Into that third turn, inches from the quarter pole now. It's Rick Fraser, Kendall Pipeline, and Oil Field Services. That inside pays off by half the wagon length. F4 stride for stride around the outside. Now Mark Sutherland, Zender Ford with some power stroke action, is ready to challenge in the home stretch drive. Edmonton, it's your turn to come alive. Rick Fraser up the middle. Here comes former Edmonton champion Tyler Helmig and F4 on the outside of him as he makes a race to the wire in a hurry. Rick Fraser hangs on by half a length. Tyler Helmig second. Heat six and Rick Fraser of Grand Prairie with the best time of the night, finishing at 120.68 seconds. In second, almost the hometown favorite, Tyler Helmig of Leduc with a running time of 121.16. Third place goes to Ted Friesen at 121.53. Finishing fourth, penalty free, Mark Sutherland, a time of 121 and 78.